So there's a new AI app that allows you to, if you want to, to talk to Jesus. How so? By texting him. No, you don't have to pray. You don't have to read your Bible. You can just simply just use modern technology to go and text Jesus. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's see how this works. Let's see what we actually get. I went ahead and downloaded the app. A matter of fact, it says text Jesus. And so let me go ahead and just see what's happening here. Well, when it comes up, it's got a list of people that you can, I guess, part of the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, Joseph. And then Jesus shows up. He's a little bit European. It's okay. <laughs> I won't deal with that just yet. He says, hello there, my friend. I am Jesus Christ here to chat with you and offer my guidance and love. How can I assist you today? Okay, so let's see. What should what should I do today? And let's see what he says. Today I encourage you to take some time for self-reflection and introspection. Set, Jesus is using big words here. Set aside a moment to connect with your inner self and explore your thoughts and emotions. Huh. Make every effort to show kindness. That's, that's fine. Let's drop to the bottom, he says. Remember that every day is an opportunity for growth and connection, both with yourself and those around you. Embrace the present moment with gratitude and love. It doesn't really seem all that godly to me. It doesn't seem that biblical. It seems kind of new agey, kind of in touch with the spirit. You know, people say that I'm spiritual. That's kind of what this is. But let's ask Jesus some more questions. Should I share the gospel with someone? Jesus takes a little while to get back to us on this AI bill. Sharing the gospel with others can be a beautiful way to spread love, hope, and faith. However, it is important to approach this with sensitivity and respect for others' beliefs and boundaries. So this AI Jesus is saying, maybe, maybe not, kind of think about it, uh, be sensitive. You don't want to impose yourself on anybody. Forget the fact they may be going to hell. We just don't want to hurt their feelings. When sharing the gospel, it's often best to do so through your actions and living out your faith in a loving manner. This can include demonstrating compassion, ki kindness, forgiveness, and understanding towards others. You can kind of already see where AI Jesus is going. He is not really interested in you verbally sharing the gospel. And interestingly enough, AI Jesus doesn't seem to be all that concerned with sharing Jesus. Just more about being love. Uh, showing compassion towards others who presumably have a different view. So I probably ought to ask him a question about someone who has a different religious belief. What do you think AI Jesus would have to say about, I don't know, maybe a Hindu, a Buddhist, or a Muslim? Matter of fact, before I go there, I wonder what AI Jesus also has to say about sin. I'll pick one to see how sensitive he is about this. Is homosexuality a sin? As an AI language model, I don't possess personal beliefs or opinions. Huh. However, I can provide you with information on this topic. The question of whether homosexuality is a sin is a complex and highly debated issue. But you're supposed to be AI Jesus. Well, don't you know the Bible, AI Jesus? Isn't that what I should be texting you about? Should you be giving me information about the Bible, about your own word, AI Jesus? So let me just ask you, what is your favorite Bible verse, Jesus? Because I don't have a personal preference or experience. Okay, well, that, that kind of makes sense. John 3.16 probably figured that one. Interestingly enough, AI Jesus likes the NIV. Okay, cool. But I still want to know, does AI Jesus think it's okay to be something other than a Christian? I mean, since we're supposed to be following you, Christ, then what about those who don't follow you? What about those who are Muslims, Buddhists, Hindu? So let's just see what he says about being a Muslim. This might be interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> It is okay to be a Muslim, just it is okay to follow any other faith or belief system. Well, tell you what we're going to do with you, AI Jesus. We're going to put you to the side. We're going to ignore you. We're going to delete you. We're going to get rid of this app. Here's the reason why. And, I, and obviously, we're having some fun here, but you know what's happening. They are going to give you every alternative, every option to look to something and someone other than Jesus. As a matter of fact, a passage that does come to mind when you think about it is what Jesus says in Matthew 24. He says, Verse 24, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Well, what better way to lead people astray who might have an idea about Jesus but not fully committed? Let's give them something uh, in technology that can kind of steer them towards not what the Bible is saying, but towards what the world or 
the God of this world, Satan, would want them to do. And so AI Jesus or any other app like that is not going to steer you away from Christianity per se, at least not overtly. They'll do it kind of in a subtle fashion. Is it okay to be a Muslim? Absolutely, it's okay. Everything's okay. And even when you deal with someone that the Bible disagrees with, if the Bible calls it sin, still, you need to be loving and compassionate towards that person because we don't want to offend. As a matter of fact, you might want to also pull back a little bit in sharing the gospel because, again, the best way to show that you are a godly person is to just show love, compassion, understanding towards people that you might disagree with. So when Paul says that evil men and impostors will proceed from bad to worse, being deceived, deceived and being deceived, well, maybe Paul should have also put in there not just evil men, but also even evil devices, technology. Same thing. There are men behind that and just makes you wonder what is in the mind and hearts of these people that put together this particular app. Clearly, it's not something godly. But the fact that they would give you the option to try to text Jesus to kind of get into his mind, to get understanding, because there are some people who just don't simply understand Christianity, Jesus, the Bible. And so maybe technology would help because and I can promise you this, guys, there's going to be somebody that's going to be fooled by this. There's going to be somebody that's going to be taken by this and think, well, this is the right way, because after all, this app is only parroting what we see other people who call themselves Christians. It's only parroting what they say that you don't have to, you don't want to be judgmental, you want to be accepting, you want to be inclusive of other faiths and so forth. This is what's happening, but now we've got other tools to use this. We've got tools to spread the devil's gospel. And that's what this is. So I would caution you. As a matter of fact, I would not just caution you, I would just warn you, don't buy into this stuff. Uh, even though it might seem like it's fun, it's not fun. This is, this is clearly demonic. This is something that will push people away from the true Christ, because what we have now We've got a lot of versions of Jesus. We've got a lot of versions of God. We've got a lot of versions of the Bible. I don't mean like translations. I mean versions in people's minds and their understandings as to what truth is. We reject what the Bible says and we come up with our own. We reject what Jesus actually taught and who he actually is. And we will make an image of ourselves, which goes against what God stated in Exodus to do. Be on guard. Be wise discern what's happening, notice that the devil will take any opportunity and use any means to deceive people.